Hello and welcome, my name is Mr. Buss, and I'll be explaining how to do Lab 3, Searching for Iron Ore, Part 1 in this video. So to get started, iron is an element that is found um, as a sediment, buried, and Minnesota has a lot of iron that we mine. Um, the iron got there billions of years ago as a sediment that fell out in oceans and accumulated over time as oxygen was becoming part of the atmosphere. Iron combined with oxygen, forming iron oxide, and that iron oxide settled out, settled out in the oceans. Today's lab, we're going to be understanding and experimenting with magnetized iron. So to do that, um, I just obtained uh, a sample of iron uh, in a washer. This is a washer that is made of steel, and steel has a lot of iron in it. This is actually zinc coated or zinc electroplated, so what you're actually looking at is not steel, but zinc as a coating over the, over the iron and the steel. Um, but you're going to be looking at working with this, and I labeled it north and south. Normally, obviously, a washer does, is not magnetized, but it can become magnetized, and the iron in the ground can become magnetized over time. Why? Because it's exposed to a magnetic field. What magnetic field? The magnetic field of the Earth. Earth's magnetic field can magnetize iron deposits. How we're going to magnetize this iron washer is by taking a magnet, take the north end of the magnet, touch the north end of the washer, drag it across slowly, and pull it away from the south end. And just repeat that about 10 times. That's going to magnetize this iron washer. And it's going to become not a very powerful magnet, but it's going to be magnetized enough so that your magnetic field sensor will be able to detect it. Once you've magnetized the washer, be very careful to set it down gently. If you set it down forcefully, you will unmagnetize the washer. Okay, so set it down very carefully. To do this experiment, you'll also want to have your LabQuest device. All right, and we'll get that set up right now. You want to plug in your magnetic field sensor. And the magnetic field sensor today should be put on high amplification, which is the 0 0.3 setting. So make sure to go ahead and switch that over to the 0 0.3 setting because we're not going to be putting this up to a, a magnet today. We're going to be putting it up to a magnetized washer, which is much weaker. On your LabQuest device, go ahead and set the mode. The mode will be events with entry instead of time-based. And the name of the event is distance. OK, done. And the units are centimeters. OK. So we got that set up. The next thing we're going to do is place, I'll move the iPad out of the way here, place a ruler over the washer such that the center of the washer should be at 10. And the washer is kind of half covered by the ruler. So zero is towards the north end of the washer and so on. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your magnetic field sensor and you're going to angle it down towards the table. Okay? And you're going to hover over zero to start. Let me bring this over here so you can see this also. Okay? So hovering over zero, we should probably zero the sensor before we do any readings. I'm going to zero it since we're hovering over the zero here. That'd be good. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play now on the lab quest. And I'm going to hit keep. And the event is, I'm at the zero centimeter mark, so I'm going to hit zero. OK. And I think you kind of know what's coming next. So I'm going to hover over the one. I'm going to hit keep. I'm going to enter that as a 1, and I'm going to do this and go over the 2 and hit keep. I'm going to enter this as a 2, and I'm just going to continue, and I'm going to go through all the way to 20. So I'm going to keep entering these, enter 3 now, all the way across, hitting keep at every centimeter mark, all the way over to 20. 
Okay, I just finished my readings. I finished hitting keep and entering the distance all the way from 0 to 20. And this actually turned out perfectly, really well. So this is kind of cool. So um, you, can, you can really see as I was approaching the north end of the magnet or the magnetized washer, the readings went down. And we know that from our Exploring Magnetism Lab that as you get close to the north pole of a magnet, you're going to get negative readings. And then as I got to the middle of the washer, it equalized. And as it went to the south side of the washer, it started to go positive. And that should be what we remember from our Exploring Magnetism Lab. Let's go ahead and make sure we transfer this over to our iPad. So go ahead and go through the process to do that by hitting the Home button, Connections. And I like to scan the QR code. That works pretty well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, if I can find it here. Got it. Let's see if that worked. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a line to this. At the bottom, I'm going to hit the I. I'm going to have lines and dots. I'll hit both. I think that looks better personally. Um, so there you go. Um, if you double tap the screen, it'll auto scale it if you ever want to do that. I, I think that looks better too. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that. And then I'm going to add that to my report. So if you haven't yet, remember that the report is going to be found in Schoology. So open up your Schoology page, go to Labs and Activities, Exploring Magnetism. No, nope, sorry, not Exploring Magnetism. That's the lab we just did. Uh, searching for Iron Ore and the Student Worksheet. Send that over to Notability. Okay, so that you can add this stuff. I'll just wait a minute so I can walk you through this next part. Create new note. Okay. All right, remember, put your name on here. The objective for part one is to obtain readings, um, magnetic field line readings over a washer going from north to south. So that's what we did. The objective for part two is to find a washer that is hidden in a sandbox. And you'll be doing that after this. Okay, and here's where the screenshot of your part one graph goes. So make sure to add that photo. Great, and you know you've got some room here so you can, whoops, whoops, you can make that a little larger. Um, but anyway, there it is. Um, okay. Describe in words the shape of the magnetic disturbance, so just talk about it. Label the areas on the graph where you're hovering over the north side and areas where you're hovering over the south side of the washer. And then you can move on into part two. So remember, and I talked about this, but I'll remind you, the north side of the washer was this part of the reading where it dipped into the negative readings, and the south side of the washer was here where it got to the positive readings, and this point right here is right where the middle of the washer was.